Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get plotly graph interact plotly interactive graphs on your blog. So if you go to the last blog I published, which is predicting life expectancy, evidencen.com slash predict life expectancy, you see 3D and 2D interactive graphs. So this right here is published on WordPress. And if you scroll down, you see more graphs. And this is like 3D interactive gra graph published on WordPress. This is another graph. Of course, you can um, do different things to it. And this is also a 3D graph. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your plotly interactive graph on your blog or on your WordPress website. So let's dive in. So the first step is to go to the Plotly website and create an account. All right. And once you create an account, you can just go to your account and go under my files. And this is where you see all your files. But once you create an account and log in the first time, there won't be anything here. All right. That's the first step. The second step is to go back into your code. So from your Python code, you first do import chart studio. So if you don't have chart studio on your local machine already, you can install it. So to install it universally, you do PIP install chart studio. This will install chart studio on your local machine so you'll be able to get access to it from just regular python file but if you want if you're using anaconda environment like i'm doing right here i'm using my anaconda base environment then you can to install it on anaconda you go to the anaconda terminal and you do conda install c plotly chart studio and this will install plotly chart studio on your local machine once you have Chart Studio installed, then you do import Chart Studio and then you create a username and API key. So your username is your, this is your username from your Plotly account. And then you need your API key from your Plotly account. So to get your API key, you go to Profile, Settings and Regenerate Key. So you go to your profile, then you go to settings, go to API keys, and then click on regenerate key and copy whatever key that you get here and paste it on the API key. And then you type in chartstudio.tools.set credentials, file name, and you tell that your username is the username variable here. And API key is the API key variable that you defined right here. And after that's done, you import chartstudio.plotly as py, and then you import chartstudio tools as tls, and then you run this cell. And once your and once this cell has executed correctly, then you go to your graph. So this is the graph I created. And right now, this graph is not um, on Plotly website. So I want this graph on Plotly website so I can put this graph on my blog. My objective is to put this graph on my blog. So to do that, I'm going to give this graph a name. I'm going to call it Spiral because that's what it looks like. And I'm going to execute to this cell. And if you want the graph to show up again, you have to call spiral and run the cell again. And this is our 3D graph, like we had it before. Now, um, for you to get your 3D graph online in the Plotly website, right? Right now, if I go to my files, 
I don't have that graph right here. For you to do that, you do pi dot plot. Okay. Remember, we imported Chart Studio Plotly as pi earlier. All right, and you give it the name of the graph you are trying to export. So in this case, I call the graph spiral. And I'm just going to call this spiral. And then you tell it what you want the graph to be named. So I want to call this tutorial spiral graph. And auto open equal to false. So basically, if this was true, this it will automatically open this file online once I run this. And I'm going to do that here. Like if you're going to run this cell multiple times, then you probably do not want multiple variation of this graph online. But the first time you run it, it's good to have it as true so that this will open online. And let's go ahead and run this cell. As you can see right here, it's opened that 3D really graph. So when I run this cell, it took this plotly 3D graph and put it online. And here it is right here. So if I go to my files, this is the graph that I just imported online. And I can go to the viewer and I can view the graph. So that was step two. So step one is to create a plotly graph. Step two is to use the code that I showed you to import Chart Studio, put in your username and API key and Transport the graph from your local machine or, or your local development environment to Plotly Online, to your Plotly Online account. So now you can easily share this graph with somebody by just clicking on sharing link. And here you can get a link. If you just copy this link and paste it, you'll be able to access the graph. So for us to take the graph that I just put on the Plotly website and put it on your blog post like this, you have to do one more step, maybe two more steps. So you go to the graph that you just created and then you click on this embed code. And once you go on embed, make sure to choose iframe and then you copy this iframe code and then you go back to your blog and once you go back to your blog you just type in your iframe code so what I did is I click on this and do HTML and where it says custom HTML you put in your iframe code you can click on preview and there is your graph. And of course, you can make changes to it. So if you click on preview, you'll be able to preview your blog. And the graph will be automatically um, loaded for you. So that's how you're able to get graphs like this and this one inside your blog post. And you can make changes to this. If you go to HTML and let's say change the height to something like 600 and change the height to something like 580 and then click on preview as you can see the graph overall the space the graph is taking up is a lot less and a lot shorter and you can um, go through this and kind of play with the graph and of course, if you um, refresh your preview, you'll be able to see the changes that you made. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get your 
3D and 2D plotly graphs into your WordPress website or your blog website. I hope this video really helped you and you may have to watch this video over and over again to kind of um, get it right but the first time I did this it took me like three hours to figure this out so I'm really happy to be able to make this video and hopefully this video saves you countless hours of googling and searching and trying to find how to do it the right way thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with other people so they'll know how to do this and of course subscribe to the channel so you'll be able to get notifications when I create helpful videos like this again in the future. Again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.